All right, I never thought I'm gonna say that, but I got myself a Canon camera. Okay, so I got myself the Canon R50, which I am using right now to film this video. Actually, this whole video was made with Canon R50, except the camera takes, of course. And, well, what do I think about this camera? Well, first of all, I got the R50 because I wanted a camera, a video camera that I can carry with me every day, a sort of everyday camera for video. So I'm reviewing this as a video camera, not a photo camera, because I'm not gonna use this camera for pictures, definitely. I use still my Fuji for everyday photography and my Sony a7C as a more, uh, let's say, professional, Full frame camera so anyway i wanted something small something lightweight that i can carry with me every day for everyday videos for some like talking head videos so i was wondering which camera should i choose should i get the sony zve 10 or the r50 so i got the canon r50 and i want to talk about five main reasons I got this camera and why did I choose it? Why did I choose the R50 instead of the ZV-E10, which I was also considering? So the first reason is the compact size and ergonomics. This camera is really small. It's really like a cute little DSLR, almost like a toy camera. And although it's a little bigger than the ZV-E10, I still find its ergonomics way better because it's so much easier to hold this camera and shoot it with one hand than the ZV-E10 for example, which when I did pick up I, I was just constantly worried that I'm gonna drop it and I, I don't want to use any you know, additional grips or something for, for the camera. So the R50 got this little, you know, um, it's small but it's firm enough and it has a good grip, the, can, the classical Canon grip that lets you just hold this camera really confident. The AF on this camera has surprised me so much that, you know, even with a kit lens, I'm, I'm really, really surprised with this camera. And the AF is really good. It's, it's I mean, it's really good. It also has the, um, the product showcase mode, which lets you, you know, just switch focus when you're just showing something in front of the camera. But I'm not actually using it because the, um, the normal AF works so well that I don't have to switch to the product showcase mode. I can just talk about something and I can just show it to the camera and, you know, it just snaps on and then it just instantly follows my face again. It locks on to the eye and, you know, it's 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 actually awesome for this you know little camera this like an amateur camera the af is perfect it's also got the um uh, the tracking af so the you can touch the screen and the camera will follow the with a focus on that specific point which also works great for video if you're just you know in such a run and gun situation you can just select the focus and it will follow it without any major issues. I really like that about this Canon. I really like the AF. Next we got an image quality. The image quality, and I'm talking about the video because I'm just considering this camera as a video camera right now. I'm not going to shoot any pictures with it. Well, maybe something when it's like an, you know, a B or a C camera. But anyway, the, the 
video image quality is great the 4k is great although it's only 25p but it's no you know it's it's really good it just picks up a lot of detail and although it suffers from like the jello rolling shutter effect it's still good for like a more static shots and if you want to just remove that jello effect you can use the 1080 well but it, it, it let's say it's an entry camera so do not expect the you know hollywood style professional quality 4k footage with this but for the content for the reels for the shorts on youtube it's really great and there's the canon colors the canon color science is actually really good and if you are lazy like me if you don't want to use a lot of post-processing and if you just want to use the footage from from the camera and just apply some filters some lots maybe on it it's it's really good because you don't have to you know take a lot of time after you've just shot your video and you want to just apply um, some little post-production and it really speeds up the work especially if you are using it for like short videos or for Instagram or for YouTube shorts where you can just quickly edit this on your phone because you can transfer the um, the videos on your phone very quickly through the app and just edit them on the phone and up them and up <laughs> and upload them straight to the social media you want to use it on so and the last thing is the price this camera is a real bargain for the price you're paying you're getting a really really good gear that will let you shoot great videos and of course you can shoot some pictures with it but it's not the case with me but it will give you a lot of lot of things and if you are just you know especially using this camera for um, social media content or for YouTube content like for talking heads or for showing things around your holiday and, or stuff it's great for this price it's really really one of the best cameras at the market and it's really easy to use it, it offers a lot of great features like you know the tilt screen the touch AF it has the manual mode so you can just use it the way you want and for me I'm really surprised this is my first Canon in like 20 years and I really like this camera and I'm not a fanboy of Sony or Fuji and I can appreciate the other brands as well and this is the the R50 is definitely the camera I'm appreciating right now so if you like what you've seen here and on the footage I think this camera is a great great deal to buy right now in 2024 keep on shooting <laughs>